dear colleagues, whether this Vilnius summit has brought us forward or whether it was a summit that is going to take a very poor position in world history is something we're going to see from the outcome of the next few days in Kiev and Ukraine. I was in Kiev when everybody else was in Vilnius and I visited the Euromaidan and what was happened was what I uh, saw I, it was something I'd never seen in the many years I've been working in Ukraine. It was a celebration of thousands, ten thousands, millions of people on Sundays who insist on a strong love of their country, which is why I am wearing this flag today. But at the same time, they believe that the European Union represents freedom, equality, and justice. And therefore, they want the European Union to approach them. Those who were there in the last few days would have seen that throughout Europe in the West, there is no celebration of Europe as what we have seen there in the Maidan for those who wanted to join the West. So far, I cannot believe that the politicians of the Ukraine, with whom I have been sitting at a negotiating table recently, members of parliament, the foreign minister who has been trying to conduct a very serious policy that they will be in a position where their special units are being brought in against these peaceful thousands of millions of Ukrainians who are there to defend freedom, democracy and their country. Ladies and gentlemen, for the European Union it is a situation that we must be there for this new opposition. They are not rooted in the period after the Soviet Union. These young people who think in European terms because they have learnt uh, what Europe is and what has been discussed there in the recent days is that the idea of confrontation, the use of violence to stop it all and uh, it should be put to an end and then they should move to the negotiating table. The round table organized by Yanukovych is not the real round table that is needed. But we need a round table and the role of the of Europe is to confront and prevent this escalation of violence and make sure that there will be negotiations around a table. If that happens, then we will talk in different terms about Vilnius. If it doesn't happen, we will see Vilnius as the turning point where uh, things went downwards for the European partnerships.